guys. So I just finished at my ultrasound. I'm home now, obviously. And that's why there's so much noise. Um, but I wanted to give you guys this little update um, because I got the best news ever. Did I? <laughs> That's not the best news ever. Even though he's the cutest ever. Aren't you? Are you the cutest? Hi. <laughs> um, no. The best news ever is the fact that Allie is, has caught up to her fluid. So there's no more extra fluid going on in there. Um... Thank you, son. <laughs> and she ah, she is looking really good. Um. Ow. Okay. She is looking really good at this point. She is five pounds six ounces. And is in like the 70 percentile for gestational age. So, and she is confirmed to be head down. Um, she's still sunny side up. Um, but she, she's still sunny side up, but she still has time to flip to her stomach. Which I'm hoping she does. Because I really don't want back labor again. But if she doesn't, that's okay. Life goes on, and I'm really, really, really excited. I'm really, 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 really happy. Baby? Yeah, you can play with that. Really happy with everything, and it's like a huge relief to know I'm not going to need weekly ultrasounds between now and when I deliver. Like... It's a huge financial relief it's a huge stress relief because it's one less day that I don't have to find a babysitter um, so that is amazing um, but yeah so we're doing good um, my we have a conflict of interest um, don't hit me with that, please. It's got a DVD case. Um, we have a conflict of interest. Um, the, my OBGYN has scheduled me to be induced at 38 weeks and three days. Um, and when I told the, um, doctor that at where I go for the ultrasounds, who is not my regular OB, um, they were not happy with that. They didn't feel the need to kick this baby out early. Um, so when I go back in a couple weeks for another doctor's appointment, I will talk to them. Um, obviously, they'll have the notes and, you know, we'll just see. Um, I'm fine with her coming at 38 weeks and three days. Um, I think if she stays in there, uh, longer, I think I'm looking at an eight pounder. I think she'd be close to eight pounds by the time she's born. Um, and I really just, yeah, I really just want to, as selfish as this sounds, I really just want to be done. I really just want her in my arms. And because my body has not reacted well. Um, I've had so many complications this pregnancy. And I'm just like, I'm done. I'm done and I feel like she'll be ready to come. I was feeling very hesitant at first. It made me nervous. But I just don't think that waiting till over 40 weeks 
is what's best for her or what's best for me. And I know my doctors will take that into consideration. Um, so, yeah. So we'll see what happens. Uh, and, but yeah, they were impressed with my blood pressure. It was 122 over 83. Um, so that was good. Um, and whee, I've only gained two pounds in this pregnancy. So, gay, I was at 312, and so today I was at 314, so. I've only gained two pounds this pregnancy, so that is good. That is amazing. That is thanks to still throwing up every once in a while. <laughs> and, yeah. Everything's going good. So, yeah. So, my next bump date will be at 34 weeks. But, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys this little update. Because I couldn't wait. Because it was just so such exciting news and everything. So, I just couldn't wait to share it with you guys. So, anyway, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Lots of love. Lots of baby dust. Talk to y'all later. Bye, guys.